For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K. And I'm N. And today we've got another brand new Pokemon TCG product for you guys. And as usual, it's out before it's supposed to be. Yeah, and I like it. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the Duskmane and the Dawn Wings tins, the uh, the tins with the, with their promo GX versions, were supposed to come out the same day as this. Those came out last week, and this one was in the stores some places as early as last week. And we just finally got ours now. Uh, this doesn't have an official name on here other than saying it's a treasure chest. Uh, but I'm just gonna call it the Duskmane Dawn Wings Pokemon Treasure Chest. I mean, we've seen a lot of these before. But look, there's a name right there, a Pokemon Treasure Chest! But there's been like five or six of these, like, you can't call them all just Treasure Chest. And then, of course, we have Lycanroc on the back, which, actually, I kinda like that. It's like, you've got all three forms represented on the back there. That's pretty cool. I actually kinda like that a lot. So, we're gonna open this up here. Um, there's no Shining Legends in this or anything. Which means, you know, our video is still okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and someone brought up a really good point at one uh, at one juncture of the video. I noticed there was a comment of our Every Shining Legends product video that said, what about the Tapu Lele pin collection box that never was released? What if they release it? Well, I actually looked, and it turns out that for some reason the Tapu Lele pin collection never had Shining Legends packs in it in the first place. So... Well, it doesn't count. It won't count. But anyways, so I'm yeah. I'm somewhat sad. You should be, because that means I don't suffer, and you live off of that. Yes, I do. <laughs> so there's the other angles of the tin that you can't see that are blocked by the cardboard, and it's time to open it up here and see what is inside. So as usual, we do have three promo cards. Thank goodness, no alternate arts. <laughs> uh, we got Dusk Main Acrosma, Sun and Moon number 107 with Dusk Shot. Attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX for a single energy. That's actually pretty solid, not affected by weakness or resistance. A little bit less solid, but still 60 for one. Rusty Claws, 100 damage for two metal and colors. If, this, if your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining, this attack does 100 more damage. Youch. Lycanroc has Bite for double colorless, uh, 30 damage, and Stone Edge for two fighting and a colorless. 90 damage, flip a coin if heads does 30 more damage. Lame. Lycanroc. And then Dawn Wings, Necrozma, 130 HP, Ultra Beast, Gulf Stream, 20 damage. Uh, plus, if you have exactly six prize cards remaining, the stack does 20 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Uh, and Sword of Dawn, three Psychic, 130, discard two energy from this Pokemon. Uh, so you're looking at Sun and Moon promos number 105, 106, and 107. So the only decent one, as usual, is the Dust Main. As usual. Man, can't they treat the Lunala stuff with any respect? Apparently not. Oh wow, there's a real nice swirl on this. I gotta I, I got show this, because I know people who actually appreciate this stuff. Look at the swirl on the uh, the lichen rock. Oh, I see it. Right there, that's a perfect swirl. Wow. I know someone who would appreciate that. <coughs> Mega Evolution Guru. <laughs> All right. So let's look at the packs here. First, I'm not gonna open them yet. We have two Ultra Prism, a Breakthrough, an Evolutions, and a Sun and Moon. You know what? I'll take two packs and I'll give Professor K three. But you get an evolutions. Oh, well, that sucks. All right. Also comes with pencils, two lichen rock ones, and two of the ultra beast forms. Even though I'm, even though they're not ultra beasts, I'm saying ultra beasts because they're considered that. But with dust main and dawn wings, we've got the usual stickers, notepad, and mini binder to hold your cards. Alright. Oh, okay, stay open. Fine. Be that way. Alright, so do you want an Ultra Prism to open, Professor? Yes. Okay, find it. I'll take Breakthrough. Hmm. I'll open up Breakthrough first. Now, this was the last XY set. To where this did not matter. I believe it was Breakpoint where that all that started to matter, right? Yeah, Breakpoint. All right. So we're gonna start off here with a Flub Baby, Axew, Scatterbug, Teddy Ursa, Remoraid, Houndoom Spirit Link, Spupa, Professor's Letter, Reverse Hollow Ralts, 
Aromatis non hollow rare. All right, now for my Ultra Prism pack. Why are packs so hard to open? Well, why are Dragon Ball packs so hard to open? You just lack skill. And you just lack skill in Pokemon packs. Nah. Nah. All right, so I'm going to start you with a Scarope, Gibble, Dupada, Shanks, Hippopotas, Hunch the Crow, Skateboard, Luxio, Reverse Hollow Rare, McGear. Now that's one point for N. And a Gachamp, non hollow Rare. Dang. Well, let's hope you picked my packs well. Uh, Technically, I picked the Ultra Prism pack, so... Yeah. I guess we'll have to see uh, how that one turns out for me. But it will be the last pack that I open because we're going to do Evolutions first. Followed by Sun and Moon. And last but not least, Ultra Prism. Just going to rip off the Band-Aid, huh? Pretty much. Let's just get this out the way. All right, this is an X and Y series, so this is a three and two pack trick. Our first card here is a Poliwag, Pikachu, Ponyta, Nidoran, Vulpix, Maintenance, Secret Rare! <laughs> uh, all right, it's the Exeggutor. Uh, it's not really a hard secret rare pull by any means. It doesn't count. Misty's Determination, Reverse Hollow, Rare Chansey, and an Electrode. Combined, hey, you already tied. combined, I actually have already won. This is like really? a point. You're, you're gonna count that? It counts as a point. I mean, they're still not the easiest thing to pull, but they're not, you know, they're not secret rare rarity. They're more like hollow rare rarity. They're, actually, they're a little bit more rare than hollow rares, but I, I still say they're worth a point. You are unbelievable. All right, what's next? This is Sun and Moon. So lightning energy is what we toss down there. We've got a Zubat, a Grubbin, Growlithe, Paplio, Wingull, Dartrix, Great Ball, Pukamuku, Reverse Hollow Repel, and a Palisand non hollow rare. Are you telling me that we don't even have technically a hollow yet? And we have one pack left in this? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I don't know. Why do we have to suffer like this? So far, this really, uh. This is just really confirming our bad luck with these tins. Uh, the, in general, the uh, Duskmane and Dawnwings tins have not been very kind to us. Alright, so, Psychic Energy down to the side. Gibble, Dupider, Shinx, Hippopotas, Snover, Manaphy, Gardenia, Prinplup, Reverse Hollow, Alolan, Sandshrew, and a Wash Rotom. Wow, not even a Hollow. Wait, that's it? That's it. Wash Rotom? We ending this video on a Wash Rotom! We're ending it on a wash, Rotom. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, I kind of feel the same way because I, I, I guess I feel a little bit worse about it because our our Duskmane tin and our Dawnwings tin were pretty bad, too. So we've just had a big, long streak of bad we pulls. Ended on a wash, Rotom! I didn't realize you, you disliked Wash Rotom quite that much. <laughs> I don't, just why do we have to end on that? I don't know. All right, guys, well, regardless, there's another video for you. <laughs> uh, you guys got to see the new promo cards. I get to put them in my binder as part of the Sun and Moon Black Star Collection, pr uh, Black Star Promo Collection. But these cards suck. Which cards? Promos. I don't care. They're still part of my collection. Donwin, why did I have to give him such a cool? He's just such he's an awful attack. He's just salty because Donwin's got the shaft again. Anything Lunala themed or based seems to get the shaft. Which I don't know why Lunala's so cool. I don't know why either. But not my problem. <laughs> All right, guys, that's give gonna do it for. The fighting what? Give us a better the fighting Lunala, darn it, Pokemon. We'll have to see. They've given us a lot of Lunala stuff, and it hasn't been good so far. So, sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video regardless. At least you guys get to see a brand new product. And, I mean, at the very least, we have paper Freaking to write so notes on. Had more than so enough. That's fun, right? It's Lunala time to shine. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. 
Comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content, and we'll see you next time. Take care, have a great day.